Long before there was powered flight, many people believed the only way man might fly was to fly like a bird. Among them, Leonardo da Vinci. It was an early example of a scientist learning from nature. He was intrigued by birds and did a lot of sketches of birds uh, flying and dissected them, got, got, uh, got their anatomy and their musculature figured out. 500 years later, Sandy McLaughlin and John Grove took those sketches and finished the job. Well, it's a little presumptuous, I guess, but uh, uh, we just sort of decided that's what we were going to do. <laughs> da Vinci's flying machine now hangs in a museum. Just as they were completing construction, they showed it off, showing how they mostly used the materials da Vinci might have used. It's all put together with, with uh, rawhide lashings and dowels to hold the, the parts together. They read da Vinci's writings and studied his drawings. When you kind of walk back through those footsteps, that's really kind of a challenging thing. Dozens of pulleys and straps for steering as well as flapping show da Vinci's mechanical genius. One of our goals was complexity, which came across very nicely, we found out. But no human is strong enough to flap these wings more than once, leaving flying like a bird to the birds. I'm Brad Closa.